God orchestrated my journey to Letourneau starting really with probably when I first saw a booth with Letourneau University at an air show in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, where I grew up. It's pretty much the biggest general aviation air show in the country called Air Venture. And I heard about Letourneau, had been looking for colleges to go to for aviation training. And after visiting Letourneau a couple times, being able to participate in a heritage scholarship competition, I chose that Letourneau would be where I would go for my degree. And so I attended Letourneau from 2000 to 2004 and graduated with a degree in aeronautical science, as it was called at the time. And then I was fortunate to be hired by the university to flight instruct for a year after graduation. Um, so if you recognize the dates, 2000 to 2004, right in the middle of that was September 11th happened. And I think that that kind of directed by what I was going to do for my career. I started at Letourneau intending to be an airline pilot after graduation and nobody was hiring because of September 11th and the aviation industry had quite a big shake up after that event. So after graduation and flight instructing for a year, I was fortunate to apply to a company called Dynamic Aviation in Virginia. And I got hired with them to uh, do aerial survey operations. Didn't really know at the time, but after a year and a half of that, my manager there moved out of his role, uh, left the company and had been sort of training me to be assistant manager and then a manager after he left. So I got several years of really good hands-on operational leadership experience managing different uh, King Air aircraft doing aerial surveys on every continent except Alaska. So that was really really exciting for me to see how that operation worked. And then uh, I actually had uh, was married to a Letourneau student that uh, he graduated with me. We had a kid while I was working at Dynamic, so I had my son Matthew, and then coming back from maternity leave, the company I worked for, Dynamic, had announced they wanted to start an airline. So they did start a charter airline. I got involved in that because I was, I still was like thinking back to when I was a Letourneau student and really wanting to get involved with airlines, and I thought, oh, here's my chance. So I got involved with starting that airline. It was a charter airline with uh, several large airliners like you would see at American, except for it was called Dynamic Airways. And we operated uh, on-demand like vacation charter stuff or uh, sports teams charter things. And through that, I was able to get my dispatcher certificate. So I got my aircraft dispatcher certificate through that position, which was uh, managing our operation of the airline. And had worked for them for a couple years by the time everything was all done, but it was just becoming to a time where um, we felt like it was time to be stepping out from the operations management role. It was getting a little tiring. So uh, I was on call a lot. I got calls at 2 a.m. I got all kinds of crazy stuff because it was an airline and it operated all the time. So I uh, found that Letourneau was hiring a dispatch manager position. It was a part-time job. They told me I'd be bored. I told them that was awesome. I wanted to be bored. And so I really wanted to start working with students. And I came here to uh, back to Letourneau to get the dispatch manager position in fall of 2011. And I started with that role and immediately it was really fun to see students that I could work with. I had a bunch of student worker dispatchers working at the airport and that was really fun for me as I got to get to know the students, get to kind of mentor them. I wasn't teaching anybody, but it was exciting to be able to, they would come to me for advice like, oh, you've been out there in the industry, what is it like, and ask stuff, so that was exciting. And uh, a couple years after that job began, my manager, who was the director of flight operations, he stepped down from his role so I moved into the director of flight operations role. And around the same time, the uh, university decided they wanted to start an aircraft dispatcher training program and said, oh, guess what? You're the only dispatcher we have. So 
would you like to be the first teacher of the aircraft dispatcher program? And I said, well, that would be, that'd be really fun. I have taught dispatchers before at the airline, but not people brand new to dispatch. So I was able to move into that role and teach in the summer as an adjunct professor of aircraft dispatch. And then um, after, wow, I think, I, so director of flight ops for six years. And then simultaneously to that, with the teaching that I was getting to do as an adjunct, I could see that I do really enjoy managing things, but I also really get excited about seeing students learn. And it is very fulfilling when I think about um, other students who have graduated when I did. They're flying for United, they're flying for Delta, they're flying for Alaska, they're flying for Southwest. It's really exciting. I love to get to see my students that I work with on a daily basis to get out in the aviation industry and um, get to see their careers come to fruition. It's very fulfilling to me as a person working in Christian higher education to see a student work really hard through our aircraft dispatcher training program to then later on get hired by an airline and send me messages back saying, thank you so much for teaching me. I have learned so much from your class and now I'm able to put it into practice every day. And they come back and then come and recruit others of our students. So that to me is very fulfilling. And for those reasons, I was very excited when I was able to move into a role as faculty here at Letourneau because I can do that every day. So every day I'm in the classroom, get to interact with students is very exciting. I have been able to, um, I think I'm really excited about the Women's Aviation Society that several students started last year and I'm their faculty sponsor. So we work together trying to encourage our female aviation students. I know when I was a student as a, a female in the College of Aviation, I was in the minority. Definitely knew who all the other female students were and we would kind of get together, wasn't really ever very organized. So. But I'm, I'm very excited about the opportunity that we're getting with the Women's Aviation Society. We have uh, been able to um, send a team on the All Women's Air Race Classic cross country race. So I was fortunate enough to race in the summer, this past summer. So that was awesome and really excited about opportunities for our female aviation students in that area. Uh, but as well, um, we are planning to send some students to the Women in Aviation Conference each year from our society. So we've got some student senate funding that we've been able to secure. And so I'm excited because we were able to give these, these female aviation students a really great outlet to get encouraged to meet people in the industry. We just heard last week from a graduate of Laterno from I think she's from the mid 90s. I have to look that up. But uh, she flies for Alaska Airlines. So we were able to bring in a industry professional, a female captain at Alaska, who was able to give some really great encouraging words to the female students. Other stuff that's going on within my classroom and department with students, I have been able to orchestrate several really fun trips with the aviation meteorology course this semester. We have been to the control tower over in the airport here in Longview, and we all went to the tower and saw how they take weather observations, learned how they make aviation weather reports. And then uh, later this month, we're going to be going to Shreveport to see the National Weather Service office of the, um, to where they launch weather balloons to check the upper air weather and the upper air observations that they take. So. I'm excited about that. I've also got uh, some airline, an airline is coming to talk about dispatch applications in our meteorology course. And I have another, uh, another person in our department who's a dispatcher uh, is gonna come and be a guest lecturer for that class as well. So we do a lot of really practical hands-on things in that aviation meteorology class that I get excited about. Um, another thing, 
that I would say is exciting to me is uh, getting to teach commercial flight operations course online. So I'm a faculty who teaches that class typically online. And I am able to really impart to these students some ethical, so just ethical dilemmas that you might encounter in the industry. And I, what I like to do, I have developed some different scenarios that we have a really great interactive format of the class where we talk about what happens if you start a Bible study in your work and your manager says you can't do that on company property. What would you do? You're a new airline employee. Um, or some, we talk about the application of being honest in your work and having a situation where you could be tempted to uh, not be fully honest with your manager about a situation where maybe you made a mistake and it affected the airline operations and how do we apply that. So what makes me very excited about working in Christian higher education is there are all kinds of situations where we have ethical dilemmas that we encounter in the workplace and having been out in the in the aviation industry and being able to see what can happen and where people can cut corners and where people can choose to be unethical and then ramifications instead of just having a generic do right and wrong talk at the beginning of class we at Laterno are able to impart a huge foundation of why why is what we're doing important why is it important to be a person of integrity why are you the manager when you get out in the aviation industry? Why are you the pilot or the dispatcher who stands out as the one who always does the right thing and is a person of integrity? Because that's going to be something that they might, they will encounter as they, uh, as they leave here. So I think it's vitally important that we give a foundation that they have to draw from and get some ideas of what can happen in their real world before they get out into the aviation industry. So, so that really excites me. Um, think about other things that are happening uh, in my classroom and department with students. In my Flight Science 2 class, I make a, this is an aviation course where we're learning the basics of instrument flying. So we talk a lot about flying where we can't have outside references. We're flying in the clouds. Again, it's really practical. I, I love the hands-on aspect. But as I've been uh, teaching this class, I've been using some tools. So we use Kahoot. We asked do online quiz. We do quizzes interactive in the class. We also did a Kahoot in meteorology where it was, I called it a Kahoot battle. And then the top winners got prizes that I collected from airlines who came to the career fair. So they give me these prizes, I can hand them out. So that, that excites the students and they're all competitive and trying to get the best score. Um, in the flight science too, and that, flight science where we're doing the whole uh, flying on the inside and the instrument references. That is an interesting application and I've been able to, it's just been interesting how God's given me some really cool parallels between trusting God and not being, and flying with not looking outside the airplane. Because we learn a lot in that class about operating safely as we are coming into the airport, you have to trust your instruments, you have to practice, you have to have the right signals tuned in. And I've been able to make, I feel like some really interesting parallels that God's shown me between trusting the Holy Spirit, trusting in what we have know to be true from the foundation of our faith and being able to apply that in a, what you would think is a highly technical field of aviation but being able to draw those parallels, I think that's really another thing that I'm excited about with, with working as a faculty and really being able to be in the classroom with students every day.